Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of August 10th through the 16th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you're a cross watcher, you also might be able to resonate with some of these messages. All right, Leo, so I did just have the Eight of Pentacles flip right out, so I am going to take it. I would like to take a second and just welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and please hit the little bell. I do appreciate it. You want to make sure that you hit the little bell um, so you're notified whenever I do post a video. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Chariot. Both of these cards, Leo, just flipped right out. All right, Leo, what else does Leo have coming up for this week? Leo, I do want to thank you all for your patience with me. I do appreciate it. If you haven't watched the August monthly forecast, it did just go up recently. So uh, definitely check those out. Okay, here is the Empress Leo. Very nice. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Empress. Leo. Also, happy birthday, Leo. If you happen to have a birthday this week, happy birthday. Leo. What does Leo have coming up for this week? We have the Empress. We have the world. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, Leo. Wow. Oh, five of Cups, but that's changing. Five of Swords. Okay. Two of Wands. Overall energy. The Moon. So you have some majors here, Leo. Wow. Look at this. The Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Wow, this is a lot of majors. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Five here in the spread, plus at the bottom of the deck. Pretty powerful energies here, Leo. Let's see, I just want to make sure everything's in view. All right, so we do have the lover's card. Let's see. Okay, we have the lovers with the three of pentacles. Uh, so, for some of you, when it comes to business matters, work-related matters, uh, this is you signing a contract. So if this is something you are waiting on doing, or if this is something that's been a, a pain in your butt, if, if this is something that's been difficult, it's been giving you a headache, there's been drama around this, uh, you are signing a contract, Leo, in the very near future. The energy is going to shift, which uh, we got that in your monthly forecast. If you haven't watched that, definitely check that out. I will try to remember to link it here in the video. But a very similar message came up for you guys in your monthly. We do have the full here underneath the Three of Pentacles. So if you are waiting on something with a contract waiting on even landing a new job with the three of pentacles in the full it's coming in here uh we have the lover's card which could be you making a decision taking a leap of faith here walking down a brand new path trying something new also this is a very free liberating spontaneous energy here if i keep going oh my goodness if I keep going, we have the Knight of Wands. We also have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. Okay. And then, Leo, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. Uh, so, for those of you where you're resonating with this uh, energy on the love front or something uh, more personal... This is pretty amazing, Leo. So, Nine of Pentacles, you 
living comfortably. Uh, some of you may be business owners, but very, very successful. Uh, underneath this Nine of Pentacles, I do have the Four of Cups. So I'm definitely reading for some Leos where maybe you've been single, uh, maybe feeling a little lonesome, maybe feeling uh, like something's missing in your life. And possibly when you least expect it with this energy here, possibly when you least expect it, you have love coming in. Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands energy coming in very quickly for some of you when you least expect it. You might be meeting someone. You could be bumping into an ex. That's always a possibility with the Six of Cups. Somebody that you already know, someone from your past. So maybe some of you are bumping into this person. It might even be when you are at work or when you're traveling for work um, because I do see travel for some of you. So if, if you're traveling uh you might bump into someone and this is for some of you a new love interest with the lovers card the six of cups the ten of cups the knight of wands let's see here those of you already involved with someone, this could be you deciding to be with this person. With the lover's card, a decision is being made. So making a decision in regards to a relationship. Do you want to build with this person? Do you want to start something with this person? Do you want to walk down this new path with this person with the full energy? Now, what's interesting is we have the moon as the overall energy. So there's a lot of unknowns um, with the full and the moon. This is this is where you have to move forward, Leo, into the unknown and really just trust your instincts. You're on a journey. So really needing to trust your instincts. And it might feel a little scary with the moon. The moon can represent fear. But I think it's really uh, more of a feeling... Uh, of not all is known and there are some unknowns and there are some things you're unaware of now don't think that's automatically negative because it's not the moon is a tricky energy but that doesn't mean it's automatically negative it just means that you're traveling down a new path and there's a lot of uncertainty um things are up in the air at this very moment i think that some of you are getting into a new relationship others you're this is something on the career path. So maybe starting your own business or uh, this is you landing a new job. We've seen the three of pentacles. We do also have the eight of pentacles here in the spread. So reading for a couple of different groups of Leos. If it's not love, it's business. If it's not love, it also could be... Um, something with a friend a reunion with either friends or family with the six of cups ten of cups you know we were all just on lockdown for how long and so maybe some of you leos are finally traveling and this would be by vehicle so some of you are traveling maybe traveling uh to see siblings even um your family ten of cups your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, people close to you. So some of you are doing that. And I think that, yeah, this is this is you kind of healing a heavy heart here. Um, some of you are very emotional. More emotional maybe than you normally are, Leo. You are a fire sign, so you're not, you're not, normally super emotional unless you have a lot of water in your chart but it will be a little bit more of an emotional week there was either a loss in the past with the five of cups or just um some some hurt that you're not over but i think you're letting go with the wheel of fortune we see in the fool at the bottom of the deck this is you taking a chance and moving forward taking a chance and moving down a new path and it's a path of, of success. You will be victorious uh, moving down this, this path, Leo, and trying something new and freeing yourself, liberating yourself, and taking a gamble with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, this is you taking a chance and the universe uh, backing you up. The universe basically giving you the go-ahead 
And so this is either with a new job, maybe you're starting a business and there's some unknowns with this, or this would be with you traveling down a new path either with love or uh, something with family. We've seen the, the Ten of Cups, the, the Six of Cups. I think that some of you are traveling to see family. Maybe letting go of just um, some emotional feelings here could be hurt. Maybe there was something that happened between you and a family member. But we also seen the Six of Cups there, which is you reconciling. It's closure. It's you letting go of the past. Also, uh, Leo, there could be something that you're learning that you were unaware of. Uh, but you do have a couple of fives here. You have a couple of fives. And so fives do represent change, but it's not always um, the easiest. You know, there's definitely hurdles to overcome. We have the fives, and then we also have uh, the ten here with the Wheel of Fortune. We do have the world and the spread as well. I think that something was heavy on your heart. Something was difficult. Something gave you a headache. You were dealing with some sort of drama, but you're moving past that. You're definitely seeing growth here this week with the chariot and the empress. I think that you're taking control and you're moving forward down this new path. You're, you're really listening to your intuition, Leo. This, this is uh, growth here. This is success with the chariot. This is victory. This is success. And you feeling quite whole and, and for some of you quite content um, all by yourself. We've seen the nine of pentacles. So uh, some of you Leos that I'm reading for, you're in a really good place, but you're actually about to level up in some way, um, graduate to another level. So this again is with business or this is something personal, uh, maybe something with your love life or with family. Now, the Empress uh, represents growth, but also fertility and creativity and you planting the seed. And we have the Fool here with the Lover's card. This is you uh, making a decision to move forward down a new path. And the Knight of Wands is that enthusiastic energy. You getting excited, Leo, about about moving forward and and starting something new. Now, this is something you will have to nurture, and it might need time to grow. But this is this is for some of you. This is the right direction. So listen to your intuition, even though there's a lot of unknowns. But with the fool, seeing the fool here uh, at the bottom of the deck and the moon. Your intuition is going to be speaking to you, that's for sure. So listen to your intuition. Again, you're, you're making progress, you're seeing growth, and you still have to you know, put time and ener energy into this. You still have to work hard. Again, this is something you have to nurture. And with the lover's card at the bottom of the deck, the chariot here, two of wands, Again, a decision is needed. You could be choosing um, between a couple of options. So especially if this is on the love front, you could be choosing between a couple of options. Uh, when it comes to business, you know, maybe you could do something one way, but you could do something another. Um, so it, it, this is you planning. This is you uh, maybe like weighing the pros and cons, going back and forth, but you will make a decision. I think you know exactly what you want to do. This is something um, that you've already decided on in the past. You know the direction you're moving in. It's just this week, you're maybe looking at some choices, some options here in regards to this, which, you know, honestly with the Five of Swords could be a little bit of a, of a headache here. Um, especially if you have a business partner, it could be a little bit of a headache. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I'm getting here.
Yeah, if you are traveling to see family, you could be traveling to see the empress. Uh, for those of you that this is a woman, this could be your mother or mother-in-law. This could be a woman um, that is that is important. Uh, for some of you, it might be a Taurus with the empress in the world. Uh, a Taurus could be significant. Yeah, so you could be traveling. Um, for some of you, again, it would be most likely by vehicle. But let's pull you an additional guidance card. Leo, overall changes coming in. And, you know, Leo, if you've been stuck in a cycle uh, that just wouldn't complete, and maybe it's been a headache, um, if something's been going round and round, maybe needing to do something different, which if you resonate with that, I do see you doing because we have the chariot here, which is you jumping in the driver's seat and taking control. Okay, let's see. All right, so I have two cards here. We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So you're blessed, Leo, and whatever is giving you a headache, whatever drama is going on, just know that you are being guided. Um, also, when this card comes out, somebody might need help. Somebody might need help. It could be a family member. It could be a sibling. It could be a friend. Uh, it could even be an old friend. So somebody might need your help here this week, Leo. And then we also have fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing is believing, but in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing, which is true, which is true. So very much needing to have faith Believe in your ideas. Believe um, in yourself. You're moving down a new path, and I think there's a lot of unknowns, and it's a little scary with the moon. But you very much need to believe in yourself, especially if you are taking a chance. Some of you may be living in the moment, taking control, moving forward. Um, there are, you know, there are some maybe concerns that you have, you're maybe fearing the unknown, maybe feeling a little emotional here, a little more emotional this week, but uh, you are being guided and you very much need to um, believe in yourself, okay? All right, Leo, so uh, thank you for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. I will mention that over on Vimeo, I do have the August 2020 Love Tarot Scopes. If you are interested, that link is below. All right, guys, uh, stay safe and have a blessed week. Take care.